13 laps complete here in the Ford 300 at Homestead Miami Speedway and the young 18 year old Joey Logano has led from the wave of the green flag in his Toyota up front. And the point standings there Carl Everett's being shown 30 points out of first place right now Everett's on the racetrack is fourth he has actually lost two positions on the track and Clint Boyer has moved up three from 13th to 10th. Yeah, Carl didn't start off all that strong at the beginning of the race but I think as you see the laps uh, coming on the tires now and as they run more laps you'll see Carl Edwards start moving back to the front seems to be his kind of style is uh, when the car starts slipping and sliding he can do it better than most. Let's update the two car with Jamie Little. Well Doc I'll tell you what the player was all smiles in his interview pre race with Mike Massaro but he told me earlier he watched the truck race last night and said it made him so nervous to see what was happening with Ron Hornaday and Johnny Benson. He said, I don't know if I can handle it. He's never found himself in this position in the final race. Back in 2005, he was actually in the position Carl Edwards is now and just lost the championship to Martin Truex Jr. So you imagine there's a lot of nerves behind that helmet. Dave? Jamie updating Carl Edwards right now, running fourth, challenging for third on the inside. He'll take that spot from Denny Hamlin as they head down into turn number three. Backing up what Andy was talking about, uh, the car is a little free at the start of this run, but coming to him, and they expected a couple of these cars, including Hamlin, to come back to him. One might think, Andy, you've done this before. You know what's going <laughs> to happen when the track changes, and Carl's going to be easing back by him. Well, you just watch Carl Edwards, and his, you know, his driving style is he doesn't mind slipping and sliding and steering that car to the right, and that's what happens, you know, when you start putting laps on these tires. See right here, you got Mike Bliss and Ryan Newman. In a battle, Ryan Newman moving up pretty nice here. Looks like he's got a pretty good car. 21 of Scott Weber back there, the other children's car. Newman, by the way, making only his second start of the year in the Nationwide Series and first in a Chevy for Kevin Harvick. Yeah, yeah that car looks awful good early in the, the race here. Newman's been down the bottom, able to make passes. How about Scott Weber right there in that 21? He's moved up about 12 spots since the start. He's got a good car. That's exactly what Richard Childress like to see. All three of those cars be really competitive to help out their championship cause. Emotional weekend for Scott Wimmer said he drove his first race for Richard Childress racing at this track in 2006 and today or tonight will be his final drive with these guys as he says goodbye. A couple of cars are going back behind the wall of 52 of Brad Teague and the 31 of Kenny Hendrick have headed to the garage area. Pretty good battle of surging there as they try to make a move inside the one car of Bliss. Again, that is Wimmer trying to use that bottom group. Picking off another car here, moving his way to the front. I love this racetrack though. Look at these grooves. You can run all over this thing. You got that high groove. It's got a little more banking up there, and that's why it makes it a lot better or, or makes it even when these cars run that bottom line. They got a little shorter distance. But now that you got that extra banking in the top, it uh, kind of evens things out. Yeah, and they're battling up here in turns three and four right now. And we talked about a while ago as they go down the front straightaway here they're having to battle some sun issues for the time being what's happening is turns one and two are already getting pretty much shaded over. I think that'll help these guys calls that want to run on the bottom of the racetrack getting a lot more grip down there. 88 car Brent Keselowski trying to make a move for fourth position by the 32 of Denny Hamlin and he will take that spot away having to squeeze in the lap car there kind of took his groove away Hamlin able to take the spot back Mike. Yeah, Brad, uh, not all that happy with his race car right now. Got on the radio real early at the drop of the green flag saying it's loose but manageable. Really looking for the car to roll the center a little bit better, but it seems like they've got some work to do before the sun goes down. It actually might play in his hands here when the sun does go down. It looks like he's got, still got a pretty good car. Look, look at Jeff Burton now. He has run down Joey Logano. He's all over him here. And this is what we expected Jeff Burton too. This is exactly the kind of thing that you expect is he's going to get ready to try to take the lead. Doesn't quite get there for that lap, but uh, Jeff Burton gets his car to handling good on old tires, and that's where this is coming into play. Dave? <laughs> Thank you, guys. Hey, now here's a handling trivia question for you, and I'll throw it to the crew chief first. Andy, he says the car is uh, loose on the throttle, but it needs to turn better in the middle. So uh, loose on the throttle and turning better, those are kind of together. So how do you fix that for our new leader? Okay, here's why you do that, Dave. You fix that loose, you know, the, the middle part of the corner. If you can get that thing to turn, it won't be quite as loose on the throttle. So uh, it's kind of hard to you think of it as being a conflict, but really if you just fix that, problem that he's got through the middle of the corner it should help that loose off. 
not good news for the competition knowing that uh, they're having trouble and he's still going by and taking taking the lead in the race. Here's his teammate Wimmer again still running side by side now trying to move up and take that spot away from the 33 car of Ryan Newman. That is the 11th position. That'll be 14 spots Scott Wimmer has made up from the start of this race. Scott Wimmer does not have a ride for 2009, but hoping that this final race performance will get him there. Right now, he's doing a heck of a job. See, Brad Keselowski is still battling with Denny Hamlin for that fourth spot. He almost had him passed until he came up on a lap car just a couple of laps ago. Since then, Denny Hamlin's moved more towards the top of the racetrack, and that's where Brad had been running. Both these drivers on the right side of your screen uh, among the 13 that are doing double duty here running in the NASCAR nationwide race today in the NASCAR Sprint Cup finale here on Sunday. Here comes Carl now on the 20 car. Carl easing back in and moving that car up across the racetrack from the bottom where he started there in the early laps. Yeah, he'll search around this racetrack and find just where his car is going to work the best. He he's not going to be satisfied to just sit there and run lap times that are not as, as competitive as say the leaders are, he'll move around and find it uh, where he like his car likes to be. Clear, all clear. We're so valuable to have someone like Carl Edwards who doesn't push the issue, knows his car is going to come in. He searched around and found where his car is working best right now. You can see right here. I think he moved into that second spot on that lap. So the points changed. Clear, all clear. Good job. Down to 24 points now. Dave? And guys, Joey Logano just reported that his car has picked up a big push, that 20 car. Another thing about Carl Edwards, he has fun behind the wheel. He set the fastest lap time in final practice yesterday, and crew chief Drew Flickensurfer told me just after he did that, it was lap one of the session, he said, where's P1? And Drew told him, you, by three and a half tenths. And Carl said, ooh, that was fun. <laughs> Carl Edwards has moved back to second position, but Clint Boyer is on the move as well. He's up to ninth spot. Right now, the margin just 24 points. Back in a moment. 